Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is C, but in Marshalland, I'm known as Chaos. <laughs> for all of my chaotic builds, maybe. Nook's Cranny has always felt out of place for me on my island and is one of the toughest ones to make pretty. In this video, I will show you how I decorated mine based on this inspiration from Lunar Room on Instagram. I have a weed core island, so I thought this is perfect for my Nook's Cranny area. Let's get started. First, the layout. I had a small blank area to the left of my entrance. I've always wanted Nook's Cranny close to my entrance so that it's easier for when people come and visit. So I decided to continue the river that I had going on and build a bridge over it to connect the two pieces of land. It was a bit tough to place this diagonal bridge, but if you need exact dimensions, it needs to be four spaces wide and can be as short as three spaces and as long as five spaces. I actually wasted twice the amount on this bridge because I did it wrong the first time and then later when I built my entrance, I had to move it again. That's a total of over 700k bells, folks! After the bridge, I went on to continue the river water terraforming in front of Nook's Cranny and I had it stop naturally to another land bridge that I have yet to build. The water is 2 spaces tall and 12 spaces wide. Usually the dimensions of a whole area that can fit a photo in Animal Crossing is about 13 wide and 17 tall. I didn't really count the spaces on this one, but my two and a half year experience in Animal Crossing says it should be close to that number. Next, we decorate. At first, I was using all of the wheat fields and log fences as placeholders. I lined them up three spaces away from Nook's Cranny just to kind of see where all the items will land. And then the rest of the design is pretty simple. Since I have a wheat core island, I took lots of wheat fields, paired it with a white hyacinth and nature items like the garden rock and bushes. I really like the log fence from the reference, so I use that too. If you don't have a nature core, forest core, or cottage core island, don't worry, this area should still work for you even if you have a city core or a fairy core for example. Just think of what items you usually would use to line your paths down and just use those. My Animal Crossing builds are always very lush and full of plants and that's how my design is different from Lunar Room's beautiful minimalist approach. So for my final touches, I put a clump of trees, more wheat fields, and a decayed tree on both sides of the Nook's Cranny so that it's framed nicely when you start up your camera instead of the two evergreen ashes in the reference. And voila! Eventually, after I designed my museum area, I added some pergolas behind the nook's cranny, which made it even more lush. If you want to watch my museum build, click on the video on the right, or if you're here early and I haven't made it yet, like and subscribe so you won't miss it. See you in the comments!